Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. Today's date is Monday, April 3rd, 2023. If you are an individual affected by a layoff or if you are a company facing a reduction in force, click the link above now or in the description box below for more information about our firm's outplacement support services and how we can help you as an individual land on your feet faster and get into a new job as quickly as possible or as an organization how we can smooth the layoff process and assist with your reduction in force. Now on to today's headlines. The big news from the weekend is that McDonald's is going to announce significant layoffs in the next few days, per a report from the Wall Street Journal. McDonald's temporarily closed their offices this week to make final decisions and then inform corporate personnel regarding layoffs, which will be part of a broader company restructuring. It's unknown how many employees will be impacted, but the layoffs will span all roles and staffing levels in the organization. This will be something to keep an eye on as the week goes along. In the automotive industry, Stellantis has informed the United Auto Worker Committee leaders at the Ram 1500 pickup Sterling Heights assembly plant that 408 jobs will be eliminated by the end of June. That doesn't necessarily mean layoffs of that many employees, but undoubtedly hundreds of hourly workers will be impacted. The union, which is one of the strongest in the country, is going to fight it out. And seeing how labor will be able to stave off the encroaches of automation and manufacturing will be something to monitor in the coming years. Finally, late last week, Roku announced layoffs of another 6% of its workforce, around 200 U.S. employees. This is their second round of layoffs recently, with 200 employees having been let go in November of 2022. This is part of Roku's overall restructuring plans to lower operating expenses and shift priorities to projects that will have a higher ROI in the short and long-term future. 